my name is Willow. Welcome to the sort of transmission for today. I've got an Auckland pop punk band called Finger Tight with me tonight. How are you guys? Good. Hi. Katie Poyer, ho. If you guys could uh, do, do the introductions for me, uh, yourself and of course the members who are not present. My name's Yash, um, and the rest of the band who's not present is uh, Jesse, who's on guitar, Glenn, who's on guitar, and James, the drummer. And then I'm Red, I do vocals, um, and Yash does bass. Yeah, oh, that's right. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> cool. Your band's history, I don't think, is very long, but but perhaps uh, before we kick into all the questions, you can give me a brief history of the band. Um, so I, I started this band, it was three years ago, actually, like a couple of days ago, um, got a little Facebook memory. Happy um, birthday. Yeah, but it ended up um, just like member change from over member change. Um, nothing ever really uh, came together until probably about a year and a half ago. Um, got, um, got Yash and James um, and then um, – met Glenn through my barbershop and just started chatting to him and was like, Hey, <laughs> you play guitar. You want to come jam with us? Exact mm. same way that I found James. Um, and then Jesse uh, joined the band just after we released burst. Um, and just before we did our first show, uh, he waited until he'd heard some music before <laughs> he made the plunge. So you've, you've got two new tracks. Uh, I think they're called, I need some space and polar bears and party chairs. So maybe uh, maybe we could split it 50-50 and you could explain each song independently. They they are sort of dropped as a as a duo really like they they riff off similar themes. Um it's kind of the 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 journey the journey we've been through so like they kind of come out of a, a place of really really cutting cutting ties with um Cutting cutting ties with stuff from your childhood that was less than ideal, you know. Why why polar bears and party chairs? Or what's the, what's the significance of those words in that order? Is there any meaning to it? Probably uh, attribute attribute that one to James. He's a, a bit of a, a wizard at coming up with names. Uh, whether they've got anything to do with the song or not, well, uh, yeah, probably not. <laughs> All right. Well, what about what about I need some space? Yeah, I need some space was about I, I um, ended up breaking. Breaking up with a girl, um, my current girlfriend. We're back together, woo! Um, because of yeah, some childhood trauma that uh, basically just made me feel like I wasn't good enough to be in a relationship. Um, and it's about fighting with that um, and the relationship. And you know, am I am I able to to commit to someone else before I can actually commit to myself? Um, have I healed enough to be able to um, be with somebody else? Um, so yeah, yeah. Like I need some spaces about like the results of all that trauma. And then yeah, polar bears is like, thank you very much for what you've done to me. Fuck you. <laughs> Lovely. I sort of had, had a look at, at everything that I could find on the internet and um, you don't have, have a lot because the band's not all that old, but I did notice that you had quite a lot of music uh, recorded in total. You have an eight track album called burst and you of course doing these two new singles. So are you looking at releasing EPs or albums moving forward? Are you resigned to the new social media sort of enforced singles or death philosophy? We're kind of leaning towards doing quite episodic drops. Um, like we all draw from very different musical influences and backgrounds. And so like we will draw from the extremes of punk and metal quite comfortably, but you don't necessarily want those two to be exactly beside each other. So we kind of feel like dropping um, a couple of songs in a hit as like an episode is quite, um, it gives us a lot of creative freedom and we, you know, we only have to riff on a theme for two or three songs, you know? Um, yeah. So that's kind of where we're at. Like we've got another like what, eight songs that are done at the moment. They're kind of just chilling there. Yeah. Um, we just got to like play them a bit more and, and then properly record them um, and then just like polish them out. So we're, we're like, we're churning music out really quickly and they're, they're pretty varying in their style. Like, yeah, said, we come from so many different backgrounds. Um, like we've got like a very heavy metal core song. Um, and then we've also just got like a, just a, a rock emo kind of 
cry baby shit um very very opposite ends of like that that punk and that rock spectrum um and so yeah we want to try and release it episodically it might be like well these are going to be some punk tracks and this is us dabbling in some other stuff and having some fun we don't want to just be the pop punk band you know like none of us just listen to pop punk so why would we just do pop punk that's kind of answered uh that last question i was going to ask you about you know have you brought anything new to the pop punk table what would you say makes you unique as a band compared to others who share the genre and i suppose that that would be the fact that you do have quite a broad um sort of pool of influences and you're sort of releasing things in, in little sort of episodic chunks as uh, as yes said so um I guess that makes you different, right? Yeah. Um, and like whenever we get someone to like, we'll ask someone like, what, what, like, who do you think we sound like? What do you, what do you think our, our like other band that, you know, would be like, oh, if you listen to these guys, listen to us. It's kind of like, we don't just give one answer. We're like, oh, well, mm-hmm. if you like a day to remember, if you like the story so far, if you like blink, if you like architects, then you're probably going to enjoy us because we just jump around all over the place. It's not that we're all diehard into one genre. That's, that's not what draws us together. It's a much more personal connection. And then the forum for us to express that is that kind of punk pop and all the derivatives thereof. October the 9th, you get an all ages show at St. Kevin's Arcade in K Road at the Underground. And you've got another one, November the 6th, all ages show again called Welcome to Entertainment at Zeal West. But you also mentioned that you had some other shows um, sort of around there too. Yeah, we've got, we've got our first gig um, out of lockdown, hopefully on the uh, 9th of October. Given, obviously, lockdown rules, it's an all-ages gig at Underground with Thunderground. Super excited for that one. Um, we've then got a gig on the 6th of November, which is not the Welcome to Entertainment one. Uh, that's been pushed to the week after. Um, we've got, yeah, the, the 6th of November is our Not Today gig. They're a Wellington-based clothing brand, and they should, like the whole dealio is they want to support the scene, which is super cool. So go check them out on Instagram. Um, they've got wicked cool stuff. Um, but yeah, we're putting on a show called Welcome to Entertainment on the thirteenth, tentatively, um, because it's at Zeal West, which is a it's a it's a bigger venue. It can hold up to four hundred people, and the aim is to obviously to try and fill it out like every other gig. Um, so we've got some wicked cool bands. We've got Stacked, which are a West Auckland hardcore band. We've got Melanie, who's a, um, a West Auckland emo band. Um, we've played with them a couple of times. Rad dudes, love them a bit. Yeah. Um, and then headlining is Crooked Royals, who are a metalcore band, I guess, um, is where we would put them. Um, they're pretty big. They're pretty cool. Rad guys. Um, hopefully that one gets to go ahead. And then uh, after that, we've got a gig with um, Holloway, which I think are Wellington based uh, on the 20th. They're like a, they look like Green Day. <laughs> it's awesome. Like the, the main singer looks like uh, Joey. Um, and then the 26th, we've got another, I think they're Wellington band. They're doing a New Zealand tour at Deadwich. Um, and we're on their ticket with them, which is super cool. Right. And then Yash yeah, is off having a baby, so we're uh, we're out for the yeah. rest of the year. <laughs> oh, to, to be clear, my wife's having the baby. I'll, I'll be <laughs> getting my hand like wrung off, but it'll be a good time. <laughs> I was going to say you really aren't showing at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, the next question: uh, Pop punk has been around since the 1970s with bands like the Ramones and the Buzzcocks, culminating in the commercial success in the 90s with bands like Offspring, Green Day, and even Sum 41 and Blink 182 in the 2000s. How is pop punk situated in terms of current popularity and how have people responded to your sound in particular? It's in a resurgence at the moment. Um, Travis Barker, the drummer from Blink-182, he's been doing heaps of stuff recently. Um, He's just popping on so many different tracks and he's bringing a whole bunch of rap artists over to pop punk. And he's kind of created this whole new wave of um, new pop punk. (laughs) yeah yeah well and and it's 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 wicked cool because like it's it's bringing in all these different influences and it's it's sounding a lot similar to like mxpx and old blink compared to where pop punk started to shift to um it it went went into into this um what would you even call it it was it was very like party-esque which is when it kind of dropped off the radar i don't know like the the late uh, mid 2010s it kind of died sort of 
di- diverged into the sort of the the hardcore. Yeah, and then you sort of had the pop punk scene as well. They kind of broke off, and there was, there was a lot of there was a lot of sort of hardcore, um, sort of straight edge hardcore bands sort of around 2010 and on, onwards. That, that seemed to be what a lot of the underage gigs at, you know, for example, Zeal West. Um, mm. uh, those those are all you know those kind of hardcore you know, guys swinging their arms around doing that karate yeah. shit in the fucking pit and just annoying the fuck out of everybody. Those. <laughs> those those shows were big about five to ten years ago, right? Um, but yeah, pop pop punk. I don't really know about. I, I don't know where where it went at that point. I mean, lo- lots of people in the scene would be like, "No, nah, it never died," but it it did. It really did. <laughs> um, it, it was not as popular. Um, but it's yeah, like I said, it's picking itself back up now with um, lots of new artists bringing out some some stuff. I mean, there's still bands like um, New Found Glory. They're still making stuff. Um, Simple Plan is still bringing some stuff out. Like they just re-released the the Scooby Doo uh, theme song, um, which is bumping around. Um, and then there's artists like Machine Gun Kelly and uh, Mod Sun. Um, they've just done a whole bunch of pop punk stuff. The Scooby Doo cover was the uh, was the cover that nobody asked for. Yeah, but everyone loved. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so like it's it, it's it's coming back. Um, Lots of guys who kind of grew up with it uh, are getting back into it. Or lots of people who like dived into some heavier stuff are, I guess, wanting a bit of a break sometimes and they should just go for the pop punk. All right. Well, I guess the last thing to ask you is, uh, would you like to add anything to the interview? Because I've kind of run out of questions. I, th- I think we've I think we've approached everything with uh, reasonable depth. I guess, you know, Auckland's about to come out of lockdown. Lots of um, New Zealand already has. Get involved with your local shows. Um help out not only the bands by going to shows but also the venues i know that a lot of venues are really hurting from all this so make sure you get involved doesn't matter what what scene or um what genre you listen to um go support your bands go support your mates go support the venues and um get amongst it and buy our merch (laughs) (laughs) all right guys i guess we should probably wrap it up we're pretty much out of time so thanks very much for chatting and uh yeah thank you for having us all right cheers bill see you man And thanks for watching.